On today's Connected, we are featuring one of the most fun brands in the industry who, guess what, has a ton of new product coming out in the car audio segment. Of course, we're talking about Memphis Car Audio, and we've got our boy, Mr. Nick LaMonaco, president of Memphis, joining us today to break down all the new exciting products from Memphis. This is CMA Connected, brought to you by SiriusXM, all about Memphis Car Audio. And it starts now. What's going on, guys? And welcome to another CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. And as promised, we are going to have some fun today because not only are we talking about a fun brand, but this brand is coming to the table with a ton of new revamped product that you need to know about. Now, Nick, I always love having you on, but it's even more exciting when we've got new gear to talk about. What are we going to be covering on today's show? Yeah, Ben, I love coming on, love chatting with you, love hanging out, but it is always a little bit more fun when you've got new product to talk about, and we've got a good slug of it today. We're going to be talking about the all-new Design from the Ground Up product that we have. We've got SRX speakers, we've got SRX subs, PRX amplifiers, and a new Mojo Pro subwoofer. Well, that, that's pretty exciting because that's been one of our most popular woofer launches of all time. So tons of new product to talk about, always a lot of fun. I can already feel the enthusiasm, Nick, but first, a quick opportunity for our partner, SiriusXM, to remind dealers why it's always a great value add-on sale. And when we come back, let's get into new gear from Memphis Car Audio. Don't you dare go away. Hi, Paul Truman here with SiriusXM. We reached out to some of our partners in the industry, and here's what they had to say. I can't say more or enough about just uh, what it means to have our unit working with SiriusXM. It's like we're there now. The Sirius XM service is something consumers want, right? So it's Paul. That allows a consumer to listen to either podcasts, entertainment, sports, all at their fingertips. It's all about engagement, and that's what Sirius XM provides. Sirius XM is a huge component uh, in a vehicle nowadays. Consumers expect that technology to be available, both in our OEM system as well as the aftermarket upgrades that they're applying to their vehicle. Alpine and Sirius XM, through our electronics, are able to offer the consumer on the aftermarket side Sirius XM 360L, which is an expanded platform for Sirius XM. And it's really been a beneficial relationship for us with Sirius XM. As a dealer, just remember, we don't compete with anybody else. We are absolutely one of the best profitability accessories you can add to any head unit that is Sirius XM ready. All right, welcome back to the show. Now, Nick, you dropped a lot of different series there, and some of those are super popular, kind of like staple products. So exciting to see some new energy putting, uh, getting put into these lines. I guess we should start from the top. I mean, we're talking about SRX. I mean, SRX is a go-to line for so many Memphis dealers out there. It's kind of tried, proven, and true. What have you done this time? What have you cooked up? Let's start with the SRX speaker line. Yeah, Ben, the SRX speaker is there, the, the good and our best, better good, but uh, I don't like to call it a value line because especially now that they've been redesigned from the ground up, this is a pretty great sounding speakers and they look even better. So let's take a look at the SRX line. I'll go through some of the main changes that we've gone through in the full redesign. So right out of the gate, what you're going to notice about these speakers is the very dramatically improved cosmetics. We went from a uh, paper to a PP cone, from foam to uh, rubber surround, uh, and in general, just a much better looking speaker. In addition to that, the full redesign, probably the biggest night and day change in speaker sound that we've ever had. So if you were to AB the previous uh, SRX speakers compared to these, you will be blown away. These are some great sounding speakers now. and. You've heard me say this time and time again on on when I'm on with CMA talking about how we listen to our customers. Well, we did big time on the redesign of these SRX speakers. As you see Phil turning that speaker there, let's turn it completely sideways. You'll notice uh, the tweeter is not sticking up above the basket and you see how shallow the mounting is. So one thing we took into account with the new SRX speaker line was the dimensions, the the top tweeter depth, the mounting depth, all the different basket depths, and the mounting holes. So with that, we're able to fit in a ton more cars. Um, we get information from our customers, so we know what they want. We know the OEM information, so we can figure out what size we need to fit the most vehicles possible. So we made it look way better. We made it sound a ton better. And we also made big changes to make it fit in a lot more vehicles. We know that's that's a big thing nowadays is, is fitting in the OE as the cars are constantly changing. So we wanted to make sure that even in our good of our best, better, good speaker line was was redesigned to be able to fit in as many vehicles possible. So it's if you haven't 
heard SR, now is definitely the time to do it because these things sound incredible. They're really awesome for, I hate to say, entry-level speaker um, because they sound, look, and and their feature set fits with a much higher price point, I feel, than they are. So i um, very excited about it out of the gate. People are loving them. Um, they liked our speakers before, our SRX speakers before, but now they really love this new this new line of SRX speakers. Well, first of all, Nick, congratulations on the revamp of the SRX line. I do want to comment on a couple of things I noticed there. Is it me or is that cone look so much better than before? It looks definitely a little bit higher end. And to your point, definitely, you know, shoots and hits above its weight class as far as its appearance goes. Um, now, the also the graphics on the back, I wanted to comment, whoever did that, really nice job. They just has that higher end look. One thing I do want you to comment on, this is obviously going to be a go-to kind of bread and butter line when it comes to speaker replacement, a lot of OE um, replacement. Can you just touch on a couple of the key sizes that is available within this new line or revamp line, should I say? Yeah, man, the speakers look a ton better. Uh, we definitely put some uh, some more money into the cosmetics to make them look a ton better in addition to sounding a ton better. Um, and the sizes didn't change from the previous model year. So you got the four inch, the four by six, the five and a quarter, five by seven, um, six and a half, six by nine, and then the six and a half component and tweeter. The one thing we did add is we added a six and a half oversize, which we didn't have in the previous SRX line. So we have both the regular six and a half and then I guess the six and three quarter we call six and a half oversize. So all the key sizes for, for everyday applications we have in the SRX line. And then, as I said, the six and a half component for if you want to have um, the good component in your car. Um, really, really can't say it enough. Great sounding speaker and try to get most of the speaker sizes to fit fit cars today. Now, just in case you're wondering, when we're talking about a full line overhaul, don't worry, the subwoofers did not get left out. We have here, of course, we're about to show you the new SRX subwoofers as well. And we're going to get Nick. Nick, I mean, I can only expect the same type of improvements that were applied to the subwoofer line. Yeah, Ben, these were a full redesign just like the speakers. So other than being SRX in Memphis, those are the only things that were the same. Um, we we went right back to the drawing board to give you the best possible subwoofer you could for the price point in the category. So we have a 10 and 12 in shallow and 10 and 12 in regular, both in the single and dual four configurations. Cosmetically, they got a much nicer looking dust cap um, with the Memphis logo on it. But probably the biggest thing is the 50 watt power increase. So we went from 250 watts to 300 watts. So our entry level sub is a 300 watt sub, which is awesome. Ton of output. And with the redesign, uh, pound for pound or apples to apples, the, the new speakers, the new subs have more output. Same power, same box, all things held the same. You're going to get a little bit more output out of these subs because they were designed to be a little bit more efficient and be able to give you uh, more power or more output, especially with that 50 watts more of power handling. So um, if if you've got, if you've heard the old subs and you like it, you're really going to love the new subs. And then we've also, of course, switched the amplifier power in the SRX line. And we're talking about subs, but we've switched the amplifier power, power ratings as well to match up with the subs. So we're going to have the amplifiers for the perfect power match for the subs, both in shallow and regular mounting depth. So super, super excited, super cool new SRX subs. All right, there you have it. That is the new revamped SRX line of subs and speakers coming to you from Memphis Audio. Now, the fun does not stop there. We're now going to step up a little bit on in the hierarchy of things and head on over to the PRX series. You might have seen the release on this recently in the industry, but this is a revamped one of the most go-to amplifiers. I can remember these amps from way back in the day, and here they are getting a total refresh. Uh, PRX amp amplifiers, Nick, what can you tell us? Yeah, Ben, the PRX amps are a staple on the line. If you know Memphis for a while or know Memphis for a minute, you know PRX amps are super, super cool, super important to the line. So when we redesigned these, we we went from the ground up, but listen to our customers and have the best PRX amp we've ever made. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing you're going to notice about the new PRX amps is the size. The PRX 1000 got 43% smaller. You see Phil's hands there. He's got big hands, but they're not giant. So uh, you can tell how small these amplifiers are. Um, comes in six sizes. So we have the 500 watt four channel, the 800 watt five channel, and then four monos, four, eight, thousand and fifteen hundred the monos and the five channel come with that base knob you see sitting down there um these amplifiers in addition to their size 
to make make them easy to fit in a lot of locations. They're also really easy to integrate. So you whether you're going high level or low level, you still use the RCA input jack, just touch the button there. Um, the input range at a low level is 200 millivolts to six volts. So you'll be able to handle those high power aftermarket decks. And then at a high level, it's 0.8 volts to 24 volts. So it also, how are, it also handle that OEM uh, high level input into the amplifier. So the goal here, making them easy to integrate, being able to fit in a lot of spots, being able to easily hook up to the aftermarket or factory head unit. And then if you see the Memphis lighting up on the top there, that's where the controls are. And they're hidden behind that panel. Four hex head screws lock it down so you can set it. And hopefully that customer doesn't know that the controls under there doesn't mess with all those quote unquote volume knobs and mess with the tune and potentially hurt their speakers or subs by by twisting all the crossovers, et cetera. Um, so super cool. You can lock those out. And then, of course, you got to have the Memphis LED. So you see the Memphis there lighting up blue. And then in addition, on the side of the amplifiers firing down is blue LEDs as well. So if you got this under a trunk, under a seat, wedged, wherever you can fit it in a car, you're going to get that glow and let everyone know you're getting those extra decibel output by adding the LEDs with Memphis. So super excited about this brand new from the ground up Memphis PRX amplifiers. You know, Nick, I love calling people out, but this in this case, I'm going to call you out in a positive way. You know, you've come on the show so many times saying that you've listened to customers, you're staying in tune with the demands of the industry. The fact that you recognize that space is a hot commodity right now, you've been able to shrink the footprint, still maintain the cosmetics and the, and, you know, the breakout of the different amplifiers for system building is absolutely ideal. So first of all, these look fantastic. I love the fact, of course, you've integrated the Memphis LED style, but I, I want to talk a little bit about this as an important category for dealers, right? This is your, going to be your bread and butter. This is the, now with the space and the form factor, more than ever before, will you be able to slide these things into places that maybe you didn't have the space to do before or the objectionable customer, right? That says, oh, well, I don't really have the space to do it. I think you've just debunked that entire, you know, uh, challenge. Yeah, man, more and more every day in today's cars, integration is the most important part. Uh, making them easy to integrate with signal, making them easy to integrate with power, making efficient amplifiers, um, and then, of course, the size. I mean, everyone loves a giant, cool, badass, old-school amplifier, but at the end of the day, there's less and less room uh, in vehicles today, whether you need the cargo space for kids or um, just smaller vehicles as gas is expensive. So, um very, very excited how small we're able to make these amplifiers and how easy they are to integrate to, like you said, just completely remove the objection of, I don't really have the space. Do I really need that power? We don't need much space and we can really improve the sound of your system. So definitely a, definitely a huge upgrade and a huge improvement, making it easier for our customers to get these in vehicles. All right, Nick, we've arrived at the final product, and I know you're a little bit giddy about this one because we're talking about a brand or a sub-brand of Memphis that obviously has a huge following. We're talking about Mojo. Now, when you talk about Memphis, it's hard not to talk about Mojo. These line of drivers look absolutely stunning. They look overbuilt. They have this whole robustness about them that I think make it super attractive. But you've got a trick up your sleeve, and I'm not going to steal your thunder. So let's get into Mojo subwoofers. Yeah, Ben, Mojo is synonymous with Memphis, and Mojo is known for being loud, in your face, and being the flagship, quote unquote, sound of Memphis, you know. Um, so uh, as we look here at our regular Mojo, Mojo subwoofers, our Big Daddy, and our little Mojo Mini 8, um, these are incredible summer subwoofers. The 12 and 15, 1500 RMS, huge cast basket, huge motor structure. Um, one of the coolest things, selectable voice coil. So it's one or two ohm on that 1500 watt sub. So you don't have to worry about having the right sub in stock. You always have the right sub in stock. That V groups around keeping the excursion linear um, for clarity and reliability. And then as you see Phil holding that Mojo Mini 8, this has been one of the coolest launches, I think, in all of car audio in the last few years. The Mojo Mini 8 has now become a staple in virtually every one of our dealer's stores. And they sell a ton of them because you can get the sound of a 10 or some even times even a 12 out of an eight inch sub. Um, so the Mojo line is always known for getting the output, putting the music, putting the bass in your face. And in recent years, as we've talked a bunch, Pro Audio has become huge. So we've added Pro to Mojo Pro into the line. And so if you've seen, if you've been a Memphis dealer, I'm sure you've seen and used and sold the Mojo Pro subwoofers, which are uh, 
you know, part of the Mojo family, um, where really that old school based big foam surround, the paper cone um, designed to just big, 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 boomy base. And I'm excited because this just started shipping last week. This is the new Mojo Pro 8 inch subwoofer. So I'm super strong, but it is awkward holding the sub because it is a beefy little guy. So this is a 750 RMS subwoofer. It is the same motor as the 10, 12, and 15 in the Mojo Pro in an 8 inch basket. So you are getting a 10, 12, 15 inch sub power in just an 8 inch basket. So as you see there, the big foam surround, the paper cone, this sub just slams. It's already been in quite a few vehicles. It's been in some people that vehicles that love bass, that are old bass heads, and they just absolutely love the sub. So now you can get that Mojo Pro old school bass in pretty much anywhere with this small, awesome Mojo Pro 8. And that was Memphis Audio's president, Mr. Nick Lamonico, joining us, dropping a new product at the end there in the new Mojo Pro 8 subwoofer. What a little beast. Now, if you want more information on any of the products covered on today's show, I do encourage you to head on over to the website. We'll put that on the screen for you now to get more details, specs, whatever that may be. And if you happen to be a dealer in Canada, then make sure to connect with the folks at Auto Mobility, for they are the exclusive distributor for all things Memphis, north of the border. Now, my takeaway, man, it is refreshing to see a company that continues to innovate and put new products in the market in car audio. Yes, we all started there. Of course, it's fun to talk about motorcycle and power sports and whatnot, but car audio is our core business. And to see that Memphis hasn't forgotten about car audio, in fact, it's quite the opposite, injecting new life into, you know, um, proven sub brands such as the PRX and the SRX line and of course expanding their Mojo line it is an absolute breath of fresh air I want to congratulate uh, Memphis on their new lineup of speakers and subs and amps uh, I think they're going to do really well they've really paid attention to what dealers want and what the trends of the market are saying and I think dealers are going to find a lot of success with these revamped product lines that's it for this CMA Connected brought to you by SiriusXM I'm your host Ben Wu until next time we connect